I'm painting my shower today and I'm scared. I'm really scared. I'm not just being dramatic. I really am nervous about this project because I never painted a shower before. But guess what? I'm gonna do it today and you're gonna get to see how I do it. Wish me luck. So the product that we're gonna try today is a DIY bathtub refinishing kit, but I'm gonna use it for my shower, still works. And you can find them online, bath-works.net. So, you know, they reached out to me online and said, hey, do you wanna paint your shower? And I was like, yeah, because you know what? It costs $6,000 for me to replace it. Who has that kind of money, dude? I sure don't. So this comes with, it looks like it comes with everything that you need to get started. And uh, apparently this works much better than just going to your local home improvement store. Um, it's a little hardier, and this is actually what the professionals use. So it looks like it comes with part A white. Now, I guess it depends on how big your shower or tub is, but you might need to get two of these. They did send me two, so I'll just use what I need. And it comes with this kit here, so let's open this up. Let's unbox it. And it comes with some instructions. I think you need to sit down and really read through these seven. Oh, there's eight steps. So we'll read through that and see what exactly we need to do. And when we open it up, looks like we've got some Part B hardener. This is the non-skid additive. So I guess this helps to make it not so slippery. And it comes with a little roller. And I'm not sure what this roller's for. I don't know why these are two separate rollers, but we'll read the instructions. A little foam brush, a mixer, some etching cleaner. We'll look at the instructions for that. Some primer, some liquid primer. A tacked cloth, okay, so we can get all the dust and grit from all the sanding. And some 120 grit fine sandpaper. Oh, and gloves. Perfect. They thought of everything. And it looks like there's a lot of gloves here too. I like that there's two pairs. So we have four gloves. Cool. And a little tray. Here's something that I wanted to point out. It does come with a mask, or at least they sent me a mask. You should definitely use a mask, but here's what I would recommend. If you've got one of these big 3M masks, your neighbors are gonna think you're crazy if you ever wear this thing outside, but in your bathroom, no one will ever know. You wanna get one of these heavy duty ones because if this stuff smells the way I think it smells, like most refinishing kits, it's gonna stink. This stuff blocks out a lot of odor. So make sure things are gonna be well ventilated, get a fan, so make sure you got a fan, a good mask. If you don't have this one, this will be, you know, this will probably work fine. And you're gonna need some Comet to clean your shower and your tub. And you're also gonna need a razor. And make sure that you use a nice fresh razor blade, a single razor blade. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a new blade so that it's nice and sharp. So I'm in the bathroom, I'm ready to get this project started, but before I can even begin, I've got to use this razor blade and get all this caulk off of the shower because we won't be able to even clean if we've got the caulk stuck on there. So let's get this caulk removed. else that I discovered that if I take my razor blade and shave the walls of the shower a lot of the soap comes off so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shave it first and then I'm going to clean it and then I'll shave it again so I think it's just going to be easier to remove a lot of the gunk without having to scrub as much of course I'll be scrubbing but you know what I mean I'm going to give this a really really good scrub and then we're gonna check it to make sure that there's no soap scum left. We're gonna have Comet on my feet, but you know what? I'll do whatever it takes for this to work, including getting in the shower fully dressed. Cause I'm committed. This is definitely a workout. All right, so the shower is scrubbed down. I've got as much cleaner on there as possible. And I think it's so clean right now, I could probably eat off of it. Yeah, although I'd never do that. So I'm gonna rinse it down. I'm gonna take the razor blade, according to the instructions, follow with a razor blade, make sure there's no more soap, 
you cannot have any soap residue. So I'm probably gonna do two, like two good scrubs. I feel like, I feel like this was my workout for the day. Okay, so now that the shower is totally clean, we've rinsed it a couple of times. Now it's time to do the little test with the razor blade. This is to just shave the walls down to make sure there's no leftover soap. I don't think there will be, but I'm gonna follow the directions. I'm not seeing anything coming off of the walls. So that's good, that means we did a good job. Yay! I like doing a good job. So while the walls are still damp, we're gonna take some of the sandpaper that came in the kit. This is 120 grit, and we're gonna sand the walls down. I don't know how aggressively I need to sand it, but I'm gonna sand it more aggressively than what I'm thinking because I want this stuff to stick. So now that it's sanded, we're ready to rinse it really good and then move on to the next step. So I just realized there was one step that I didn't do. I actually was supposed to use this etching cleaner first before I sanded. So anyway, I'm gonna go back over this with the etching cleaner and then I'm gonna give it a really good rinse and then we can repair these holes where the glass door had been connected. <sighs> well, these things happen. Hopefully it doesn't make a difference. What I'm gonna do now is I'm probably gonna do a final sanding because I really wanna make sure that this whole surface, there's no shiny parts on this surface. And we're gonna clean the, we're gonna fill these holes with the, uh, the hardener that goes inside of these holes. So let's get to it. We are finishing this project tonight. So everything has been sanded down. Now we just have to make sure that there is absolutely no water or moisture in this tub. So everything's dry. We've got the faucet taped off. You can see there's already a little bit of water here at the bottom of this bag. That's because this faucet tends to leak and we don't want that to happen when we're painting. So we've got that covered up and we're gonna put some of this green tape, this painter's tape, all around the places where we don't want any of the paint to get onto like right here. You'll notice the tack cloth is really sticky and this is gonna help you know, remove any kind of dust. If there's any dust left over from when we were sanding, we're just gonna get all of it off with this. So the next step says to use this liquid primer, but to just put it on with a paper towel, which seems a little strange because I would think that paper towels would leave you know, some sort of like paper or dust behind, but we're gonna follow the instructions and put this liquid primer on with paper towels. Well, I don't have paper towels, but I have napkins. Will that work? I hope so. For this part, we're gonna mix together part A, which is the white paint or whatever color you ordered. And the next step will be to mix in the B, which is the hardener dump this whole thing in. So make sure that you just have some extra trash bags around so that you can dump things immediately and you won't have to smell it. Here we go. It seems like all day we've been trying to work to get to this point where we can actually paint and I'm so excited. It's, a, it's about to happen. It's gonna happen. <sighs> All right, we mixed the paint and now we're ready to roll it on. I'm gonna work from side to side, all the way around and just work my way down. I hope this goes well.
So we're right at the tail end of the first coat. So the kit comes with this non-skid additive. Uh, I'm going to add about an ounce of paint to this, shake it up, stir it up, and then I'm going to pour it here. This is going to help to make sure that it's not slippery when there's soap and stuff. So I'll do that and then I'll go over this with another coat. But it's looking pretty good. I like it. So now that I've mixed this up, I can pour it in the middle. Spread it around. Guess what? I'm done! <gasps> I put two coats. It looks good. I'm excited. All right, so we're gonna let this dry for 24 hours. Uh, we'll come back and take the tape off, maybe like in another 45 minutes. But for the most part, we're done. All right, guys, so this project is done. I know, this was a long video, and a big thank you to those of you who stuck through to the end. I really wanted to show you everything involved in painting your old shower or tub. It really was not as scary as I thought it would be. It was a lot of work, but I think it was worth it. And considering that I don't have to pay $6,000 to rip out the old one, I think this was a good financial decision. So if this video helped you with your old tub or shower, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And be sure to check out the entire room makeover. Seriously, it's pretty dramatic. You can find all the links below and I will see you next project. Thank you for watching. <gasps> okay, now go. Go away. Seriously, go!